ask Tom on Home Show. Charles from Magnolia, Texas has a question about an insulation refresh. It's really more of an investment question, Tom. Charles writes, my wife and I are senior citizens and wonder if it makes good financial sense for us to have the insulation redone in our attic, both for energy savings and for resale value on the house. Because one day, Tom, they're going to want to sell it. What say you? No, not for those reasons. Well, uh, saving energy, if you had very little, then you put some in, you'll save energy. But it's still going to take a long time for you to get your money back. So it's going to take five, six, seven years. I'm not sure how long it's going to be where you sell the house. Uh, but as far as the resale value, no, you're not going to get any money back. If somebody, especially today, somebody wants to buy your house, they're buying it. They'll put insulation in themselves. They're not going to worry about that and make that an issue by any means. They'd rather get a new countertop out of you than insulation in the attic, trust me. Uh, but if you have very little, then you can certainly make your house more comfortable and save some on your energy costs. And as we see in the future, if energy costs go up, the savings would be greater. But I don't think it's going to be a huge payback for you. And I don't want you to worry about resale value with something like insulation. Because I just I always tell people to picture this. Picture your house and picture one exactly like yours next door. Everything's exactly the same except for one thing. Uh, they have more insulation. And so they're asking for another extra $10,000. So people look at both houses, they're going to buy yours for $10,000 less. They'll worry about the insulation later. So it's a good way to think of things when you start uh, doing things. Now, if it was for your comfort, if it was new windows to keep it more silent, more secure, make it more comfortable for you, that kind of thing, that's all about what you, how you do home improvements. But if you're just worried about resale, clean it up, sell as is, you'll always be better off. Yeah, and that's what I was going to ask you about, Tom. What mm -hmm. do you do in preparing the house to sell it? I mean, if you're given this Clean case, it. Yeah, and I was going to say, especially, I mean, with a senior citizen, we looked at a building recently, and it's like, yeah. it was so full of stuff. I was like, just to get them moved out would take a month. Um, but cleaning it out is one thing. What else? I, I, I have always, and I, I've had this conversation with a lot of people, I've always said, clean it up sell it as is that doesn't when i say clean it up i mean have the outside washed have your your driveway power washed make sure the yard is mowed when people go in get rid of all the clutter clutter is going to be just a uh, it's just going to be a red flag for people uh don't leave your dirty socks and your dog poop on the floor these are the things that sell a house now a realtor will come in and say well we need to put wood floors and put in uh countertops and stuff like that and you'll spend thirty thousand dollars and it's, it's not going to come back to you. And that's what I'm afraid of is people spend money thinking they're going to get it back. And unless you're flipping homes, which is different, then a normal home should sell as is clean. Even if it sells for $2,000 less or $3,000 less. And today you're not going to sell for much less than asking price. Uh, you are not going to see ten dollars or $20,000 $20, added to a house because it just doesn't work that way. If you put it in, you might sell it faster, but you won't sell it for more money. All right, you got a question? Tom will help you out. Just go ahead, just like that, save you money, help you sell your house. Go click on that Ask Tom button. Send us a video. If you're ready to see a video of some of these houses you're trying to sell, or maybe even pictures. You want to send a picture, go ahead and click on this form and put it there, but give us your questions because Tom likes to help. He's been doing it for decades and decades and decades and a half. Did I get that right? Nice. I get <laughs> Decades is like 20. So, yeah, sure. Okay. 110 right. years. For 110 years. <laughs> yes. I, I, like, like, 110 you know, years. That's right. During, during Reconstruction, Tom was helping. You know, helping the South <laughs> rebuild. I it, did. It, radio hadn't been invented yet. But, you know, he was there. He was, he was sending questions by telegraph and sending them back. No, but uh, the Internet and cell phones were not invented when I was doing this stuff. That's right. That's true. So it's, I just want to throw that out there because people think they've always been here. No. No. Exactly. People think the internet. We didn't even have been area here. codes. No. <laughs> okay, that's fine. right. That's right. You should be able to dial seven digits in Houston in that's most right. cities. All right. Now that we got that all out, if you <laughs> yes. want to see, if you'd like to see more of this, and who wouldn't, um, go visit homeshowradio.com. You'll find a lot of these. You'll find them on our YouTube channel, and we post them every day on our Facebook page too.